we need to talk about a protest going on with the Korean government and army. I want to get into V allegedly breaking a rule and people saying he is non-binary. And then we need to get into the fun rumors of Lady Gaga quote unquote reacting to V's music video. So hey down please, it's Dave Desai, hate it or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on, grab your thumbs up, let's hate spilling my merch and let's go. There's been some protests going on with something that the government did, and we need to address it because it's a big one. It seems to the fandom that every time the government does anything, they always seem to call BTS, but they never treated BTS with the utmost respect by exempting them from the service. I actually probably agree slightly with the outrage, and I will explain everything. So what happened? As some of you probably know, South Korea held a World Scout Jamboree. I think this was just a festival with some food and maybe some fun activities. The festival apparently Currently hosted about 43,000 people, so it's not a small deal. This event was government funded and there were some issues with the funding. It was believed that there was significant lack of preparation when they executed the event and even alleged rumors that the politicians who hosted the event had pocketed a lot of the funding for the event. So there were some tragic turn of events when people were apparently passing out from heat exhaustion and then people who attended complained about rotten food, poor sanitation, and lack of shelter and privacy. This is a 12 day event so I assume some people were choosing to stay at the event for at least a few days. So as you can imagine, Imagine this was a disaster and so the complaints reached up to the government and they had to figure out a way to remedy this. It was reported at first they wanted to hold a K-pop concert to close the event as the event as of recording is still not over yet. So they still have time to turn this around and make it a really positive experience. Of course when thinking of which K-pop group to call upon and which K-pop group would turn this into a good experience, why would you think of none other than BTS? The issue the fandom is having here is that now three members are either confirmed going or at the military, so you'll have what, four people performing as BTS? And what irks me here is that the amount of money the government can offer is nowhere near the money that the members could make on their own tour and their own activities. And then for J-Hope and Jin, the amount of money is going to be nowhere sufficient for them to be exhausted from doing the military duties to go and do rehearsals for the show. And do you think the government will give them time off from the military to perform this show? Absolutely not. They'll be obligated to do both, and so this does irk me. It's like calling on them when you need them, but when BTS was struggling to figure out what to do, the government was so slow in making a decision. And it seems like once Jin enlisted, the government just decided they were no longer going to work on this case. And it's like, no, you can still exempt the other members. People were very angry about this, and some people had even written that you can definitely use BTS to make the 43,000 attendees extremely happy, but the government will be making 70 million armies from around the world extremely mad. And guess what? As a government official, you would never want to make that many people mad, as you'll never be put into office ever again. The sort of final response that the government officials gave on the situation was that they would prefer to ask HYBE for their permission and see what they say. There's a big chance HYBE would turn down this event as well, as the money is probably nowhere near enough, and given the government track record, they would probably try to have BTS pay to put on for that show. People really have the audacity and literally no shame. If I was in the Korean government, I would be so ashamed to even bring up BTS's name after literally neglecting them for so long. On the other hand, I am very excited to hear about the possibility of us getting more V content. He recently put out a song, if you are not aware, called Love Me Again. The song is absolutely beautiful and gives us a bit of an old-timey vibe, which is so perfect for him. I think it suits him well. We were all definitely waiting to see what he would be up to and what his solo album would sound like. I'm hoping this is a good representation for his album, but the song dropped and within about 24 hours, it got 16 million views, which is very good since it literally dropped out of nowhere and no one knew about it coming. This means it's really only been promoted by both fans and people just watching it. But I want to get into the fans' method of promoting, which is absolutely hilarious. People will say something either scandalous or crazy on X, formerly known as Twitter, and then drop a link. 
it makes you think you're clicking on a blog or a video explaining the scandalous thing, and then it's just the music video. And people below that post will usually agree and go along with it. If you do want to join us over on Patreon in reacting and having fun checking out videos, I will link the Patreon in the description. We have a great time fangirling and we do have a limited $1 tier that is currently open, so if you want to get in on that, make sure you check it out soon. Now going back, for example, some recently posted that Lady Gaga reacted to V's music video, Love Me Again. Now, if this were true, it would be absolutely amazing, and I'm sure V would literally freak out. V has talked about how Gaga is his jazz queen and he loves her, so it would mean the world if Lady Gaga gave V a stamp of approval for the song. However, Gaga likes to stay off social media, so she doesn't really sit there and publicly react and post things, but there's a possibility that she did see it and loved it. I imagine she is someone that loves all styles of music, and given she was a big fan of Tony Bennett, there is a chance she would love the old swing of V's voice. However, I not only think Gaga likely saw it and loved it, I think many other people and icons have seen the video and probably reacted very positively. I think we are also going to see a lot more collaborations coming soon too. I imagine a lot of the older singers are probably most happy with V's voice compared to the others, and other members have very much a more contemporary singing voice, and V is just not. It's great because every type of artist can at least relate to one specific member of the group, and if they do not like the group as a whole, they can still acknowledge that there's a collection of really talented men that are in the group. Now, the music video itself is quite beautiful. Aside from the voice, we also see his very very sparkling outfits and very flamboyant look. This is not unusual for V, so it's pretty expected that he would try to pull off some unique looks. Now, he has worn dresses, skirts before, and has done a lot of different looks. Now, for a lot of more conservative people, this can tend to make people think he's gay or trans. However, this is just what high fashion is. Now, given the more conservative nature of South Korea, I can see some parents or people getting upset that this is not traditional or not traditionally how men dress. And so there were people that were saying that V was actually coming out as non-binary or gay after the release of this music video, but you need to understand that V understands art, and art is meant to push the limits of any specific social norm. It's meant to often question what we view as normal, make us question it, and sometimes make us uncomfortable, and that is okay. People think that the new music video and the new image of the album will be centered around breaking gender norms or him wearing more flamboyant fashion, and I would love to see it. I think breaking down that wall for South Korean men is huge. It's a different balance. While you don't want to seem overly flamboyant to hurt the Korean audience, you don't want to seem too subtle where it doesn't cause any change to the world. But at the same time, having to fight this battle of not catering to any stereotype that exists of Asian men. For example, that they're too girly or whatever. V has not only experimented with clothes, but he has also experimented with nail art, which is something that is still very seen as a very controversial. A lot of these things make a lot of people question whether V is identified as a different gender than he is, and many people question whether he is identifying as male or even tying this to his sexuality. However, I will say choosing to do any of these things has never been a sign of sexual identity or a sign of gender. Gender markers, which are things like long hair for girls, Girls, colored nails for girls, muscles are for men, things like that are things that society has made up. It's not anything that, let's say, all animals follow. For example, going by this idea that only female species of animals give birth and we can identify a female by their ability to give birth is not true when you look at seahorses and see that exception. So these gender markers are completely made up by people and it's not a rule to the universe, if that makes sense. Being 100% dressed up as what the media tells you as a cis or hetero male would honestly be limiting your creativity. Expressing a more vulnerable or more flamboyant side is only going to be more obvious in different types of clothing and color. I don't think he is any different and I don't think anything will change. I actually think V is finally able to express his full self more clearly now that there isn't a specific image he needs to uphold for the benefit of the group. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.